fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. Right, here we go guys, Saturday, June 22nd, it's about 4 a.m. Uh, we're at Mattituck Strong's Marina, Doc's Marina, we're on Doc's phone. Skinner and Doc are talking, we're waiting on Sweeney. It's Doc's annual uh, striped bass fluke tournament. Windy day. Um, plan is to go through Shinnecock and uh, fish the ocean. We'll see if that actually happens. Uh, forecast is... Uh, I believe 10 to, to 10 to 20 we'll guess up to 20 we'll see what happens i'll check in a little later and as you heard in that cold dark intro june 22nd for john's trip john skinner john kiriazis aka doc john sweeney and myself john halkius aboard doc's beautiful 30 foot uh, wellcraft scarab center council fishing uh, the annual strong's Mattituck Madness Fishing Tournament. It's a striped bass fluke tournament. Largest of each species wins. And it, it was a heartbreaking and long day for us. It's actually a three-day tournament. It starts Friday night, goes into all day Saturday, and then weigh-in, final weigh-in is Sunday at 1 p.m. Um, we were literally five minutes away from winning about $2,600. Uh, a a last-minute entry beat us out for Biggest Fluke. And what can I say about this trip? It was a grind. We decided we were going to focus on Saturday, uh, June 22nd. We were going to fish all day. And you saw what time we started. We were leaving a little after 4. We grinded it out. We did not get back to the dock till about 7 p.m. It, it was a 15-hour day. Um, and we, you know, we got a full boat limit, but it was a grind. And even our friends on the El Nino, they had a great day Sunday in Montauk. They fished near us uh, Saturday. They too were struggling, as I think most boats were Saturday. It was windy. Uh, we needed the drift sock. That was key. The only reason we limited, I'm firmly believing in, is because of that drift sock. Um, it, it really helped slow down the drift because the wind was howling. You'll apologies in advance for the poor audio quality throughout the video. Um, but yeah, we, we missed out. Uh, we, we actually wound up with the fourth heaviest fluke um, at just under six pounds. But the guys who had first and second place did not enter the $150 Calcuttas or they would have won $2,600 extra dollars. I uh, believe they got uh, five or 600 for the, the, the two biggest fluke. The person who came in with five minutes to spare and beat us out for third wound up winning the $2,600 Calcutta because he was in the Calcuttas. Um, hey, but we had a great time. It was a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, even though the conditions were not great. We were in uh, winter gear in, uh, in, in late June, but what are you gonna do? That's fishing. Um, additionally, the, the fish, they were all cookie cutter size. I, I don't recall ever catching this many fish between five and six pounds. And when we did the weigh-in, it was hysterical. We put up a fish, five seven, five four, five eight, five six. Uh, every fish we were catching was between five and six pounds. Um, unbelievable. But uh, like I said, great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a long time since a Four John's video. Uh, as always, if you do like the videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and like this content, please hit that subscribe. Better than, yeah, it's a fluke. Yeah, it's good. No, I just gotta edit out that first part. Yeah, Doc, this actually has weight. Wow. Yeah, you have time. I would get the big net, just in case. Big net? Is that what I Just in case. I don't. I mean, you know, feels good. Look at that. Guided into the net. Shut up. Oh, yeah, that's good. Hold the back of the net for me, you know, like Skinner does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a nice fish. Yeah, I just took line. It's a nice fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> that no, that was my Skinner impersonation. That is a nice fish. Seven. Hit the sand deal, guys. Hit the sand deal. Yeah. Hit the backwater with the sand deal. I got it.
And what I meant there by it hit the sand deal, a gulp makes a sand deal. I mean, the sand deals are in thick, as they often are here in eastern Long Island. They are a great bait. Um, and I, I don't know if by the time you're looking at this, the sale will still be going on, but Amazon did have a sale on the sand deals, four ninety nine a pack. I'll include a link to that in the description. I don't know how long that's going to last, but hopefully it still lasts when you're looking this up. Good fish, Skinner, I'm up. All right, I'm coming. Big net, right? Five plus. Oh, sorry, man. Go back. Yeah, yeah. I got it. <laughs> Skinner, it's yeah. pitching Come on, it's my here. First opportunity of the year. Oh, that's good. Bad no, we we knocked over all his gulps. It wasn't yeah, even a wave this it. time. No. Just kicked up on oh, no. All right, orange gulp. Oh yeah, good. Here, I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn it! I got a fish on. I'll get him. Come up a little. Not a cow, but it's a I don't think so, sweetie. It's not going to be as big as Skinner's. Not a cow, but good fish. Are you a couple cranks off the bottom so you don't get caught? Doc, do I have you? Let's see this bad boy that Skinner's got. I think I have a dogfish, to be honest. Well, yeah, it is. He's got a good fish. No, I got a dogfish. I'm real. I'm relatively sure this is a dogfish. Yep. Called it. Oh, sorry. Small net? Sure, small net. Oh, small? It's not a small fish, but it's not big. It's not 10 pounder, right? So. Again, I'm not used to this rod. Oh, boy. Because I didn't want to tangle like, every right, time. It's all right, yeah. Oh boy. Oh. All right. Guy did I. Come on, come on, guy. You really have to reach out for that one, Skinner. That's, uh, that's a joke. That's up there. No. Uh, the I don't know. I think it's smaller. Uh, okay. So much easier with this net. Yeah. Right. That's not competitive. I don't. I think so. I mean, it's close, but I don't think so. I think I can let it go. Yeah, I think you can. Thank you, John. Yeah, let's coming up. Uh, That's two keepers, though, in, in two minutes, Skinner. And as often happens when we're fluking, especially in the ocean, the bite just seemed to turn on right at the end. Um, we get those flurries, and this was one of them. You hear me say, second keeper in two minutes to, to Skinner. I did not get the first one on film. But yeah, near the end of the day, after many hours, eight plus hours, we got a little bit of a bite before we headed back. It's a fluke. Good. You too? Yeah. It's not better than anything we have. Okay. 
I don't even know if my camera's on. Don, you high low in it? No, I'm a single. Uh, I got a strip of meat here for you. Single ball. And I might change the high low. I think you should, because yeah. you always perform with it. And I got Come a nice go. strip for you. All right. It's a smaller keeper, I think. No, I'm going. It's going back. Nah. Let it go. go. Doc, pass me the net. By the way, right on the mark. Doc, try not to kill yourself. What? Try not to kill yourself. Here, hold this, hold this, hold this. Need to fish. Well, I don't have a rod holder up here. Just gained a lot of weight. All right. I'll, I'll All right. Okay. All right. Shit. Now I gotta go. oh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, don't slack off if I, you're gonna I fall. I'm losing the fish. <laughs> I'm falling my back first, man. We ain't losing it. It's a nice fish. See, yeah. see how he did that? See how he did that? Yeah. Led the fish right in the net. Oh, it's a nice fish, dude. No, this, this one we gotta keep. It yeah. might. Okay. Hey, this is a. This is. Hey, on the meat. Yeah. Hey, this is 25, 26 inches, I think. 25. 25 inch. Did you take it off the bottom? What? Yeah, yeah I did. Don't do it. No, I got it in the middle of the... You know, we might have... I don't think it's... Uh, it's cracking yeah, I don't think it's... Uh, all right. Stop. Be careful with that rod. I like it. It's right, right before the spot. Doc, you sure that's not good? I just see violent head shakes, that's why. Yeah, it's cranking it right. Yeah, okay. Okay. No, no, right. Understood. I think they're right level down. No. Close, yeah. And as Doc's fighting another fluke here, you'll, you'll hear me say to Sweeney shortly after this, when he hooks up to another nice fluke, hey, 5.15, you got to cut your line. We we set an arbitrary deadline of 5.15 p.m. to stop fishing. Remember, we uh, we left Mattituck at 4.15, so we're 13 hours into our trip at this point. But uh, we just couldn't. We, we, we had a couple last fish that we had to catch. 5.15, Sweeney. Oh, Sweeney, you got to cut the line. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Is there any good? Uh, no, it's not. It's a keeper, but it's not. A, it's not going in the box. Yeah, but if we're over a school of keepers, let's just let's play yeah, it out yeah, for a yeah, minute. Gotta extend by five minutes if it's a keeper. Oh yeah, oh. it's a keeper. Okay. All right, shake them loose and get back down there. Yeah, yeah, but that was 515. He, he, he hooked that up. Yeah, you definitely got to get a. You got to get. A five minute warning when we get a fish have, like that. You gotta bump up the let's yeah. Go, let's go. What? Oh. He has visions of dinner plans in his head. No, I don't. That's what? Don't but when we catch a you keeper. We, ha we do, Doc, Doc, we have to extend it five minutes when we catch a keeper. No, we gotta go. Skinner has to go too. He wants to go. Skinner? Skinner, you gotta go? No. Skinner don't gotta go. What are you talking about? Skinner would stay out here until sunset. I didn't say I want to go. I said it's 5.15. Yeah, I forgot. She has the, she has the internship, right? So this is second year in a row she has it, right? Oh, guys. No way. Yeah. Really? Oh, shit. Is it a good one? Oh, I just dropped it. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. Come back. Oh, I got him. He came back. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Is it peeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's peeling? We got it. Peeling. Set up, Johnny. Doc, set up. Come on, Johnny. Doc, Peel. hold the spot. Keep peeling. Going. Peeling. Did you see how much line it peeled? I think peeled right out. I heard it from you. Come on, Johnny. It's, a, it's an angry right. fish. Want to pull the rope? No, no, leave, leave it. Fine. Leave it, leave it. It doesn't feel like it has a lot of weight, but it was angry. I saw that bro. I heard it. Yeah. I also heard it peeling. Yeah, I didn't see it. I'm like a fluke. Doc, set your line up. Hurry up. I want to see the fish. It's another five minute extension. 
It's gonna be another five pound fish, I bet. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, you never know, man. Think it's bigger? This is I hope it's gonna be the winner. Oh yeah, come on, baby. Stop pulling them yet. Get it in here. It's a tiny fish. Yeah, but look how it's fighting, right? Yeah. But it's not doing it's, I'm not wrong, wrong right? Oh, get it, get it in there anyway. Skinner, you know, I didn't have anything on that jig. That's great. Oh, oh my god! Skinner! Skinner, <laughs> <laughs> you put it on the netting video. Hey, I didn't it's a, it's a Skinner. Nice one, but, uh, there's nothing yeah. on that jig. There was nothing on that jig and he hit it. Yeah. I told Sweeney that when I brought up the sea bass, he took it and I said I'm not putting anything yeah, on I it. I heard that, yeah. Oh, it just happened to me. What? Uh, cram. Yeah. Well, I, I have nothing on the teaser, but I'm dropping just for the sake of getting down there before 5.15. Yeah, wow. It's a, it's a keeper, but it's... Yeah, you know, so I'm going to throw him overboard. My God, when he beat that run... No, no, the run, but I, I said it doesn't have a lot of weight, but that run was crazy. It was. That last fish fooled all of us. It did take a big run. And hey, it was a great trip. Jeff Strong and the crew at Strong's in Mattituck, they do a great job with this tournament every year. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have more participants next year. Congrats to all the winners. And uh, speaking of winners, uh, before we go, let's, uh, let's go in and see who won the, the Jigging Jerks Instagram and YouTube contest. Here we go. All right, here we go, guys. And we are not going to do the uh, the picking of the contest winner like we have in the past where I had my adorable niece, Leah, pick the name out of a hat where I'd uh, write down the names of hundreds of people and uh, cut them up and put them in a bowl. Um, it, just a little too much work involved. So what, what I'm doing instead is I'm going to use the Google a uh, random number generator, we'll show that here, um, to pick one from each. So there's 291 comments on YouTube. I've gone through it, deleted duplicates, uh, deleted all my comments except my pinned comment. So we're really dealing with 290 because my pin is one of the comments um, and they are newest to first. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, we're going to do it on YouTube. It's going to be newest is first, and the actual first one is going to be the person here. I believe it's John Hooker. Yep. Who replied to my pin comment that he wants to be in the contest. And then Derek Grasso will be second. Alvin A will be third, et cetera, et cetera, down to 290. So with that said, let's go to random number generator. I have it preset, one to 290. That time was there when I logged in. We're gonna hit generate. Let's see what happens. Number 147, 147. So we'll come back and uh, see who that is. In the interim, there's 115 comments on uh, the Instagram post. So we're gonna do the same thing, one through 115. This one will be a little different. This will be uh, the opposite, oldest first. So the oldest comment will be number one, and the newest comment will be 115, and let's generate 76. So we got 76 on Instagram, and we have, what was it, 147 on YouTube, and I'll be back in a second to announce the winners. All right, guys, and I'm back, and I double-checked the numbers, and it looks like we have our winners, Vinny Lisa on YouTube, um, who's promised he'll bring food better than Entenmann's, and uh, no, it really was random. I did not, uh, I did not pick Vinny Lisa for that. In fact, the Mickey Mouse uh, uh, avatar on YouTube kind of scares me. I'm not sure what we're getting into here, but uh, uh, the food better be good, Vinny, as I said in the note to you, and from... Uh, Instagram because I suck at computers. Um, it looks like H U Y Havoc. H U Y Havoc. Uh, that's the winner from Instagram. Congrats to both. Yeah, congrats to Vinny Lisa from YouTube. And it's Huey and Guin um, from Instagram. We're going to have a, a trip, I believe, in sometime in early July with those guys. Congrats to both. And as always, thanks for watching. And remember, if you're not already a subscriber and you like this content and you want to be part of these contests in the future, please hit that subscribe button.